in today's video i'm going to show you how to peel and cut a potato potatoes generally change color as we are peeling them and cutting them so we have to peel them as early as possible after washing the potatoes to to peel directly onto tissue paper because potatoes tends to ooze out the starch and the starch sticks to the floor and creates a white patch so i always advise that you cut the potato on a paper so that the starch doesn't stick to your kitchen top and you have to do double work to to clean the starch it turns white and it sticks to the kitchen top see now you have to remove the small small with this part portion of the skin and it might be roots it might be the eyes of the potatoes so you have to remove them and if there are any green color potatoes you have to remove completely the green color because the green color is poisonous to the stomach enzymes always try to see that you don't use green potatoes then you have to put the potatoes in the water otherwise the potatoes will change color as soon as you peel the skin it is better to clear this area then the next portion is cutting the potatoes every time you cut the potatoes see to it that they are in the equal shapes so that cooking is easier today i am taking small cubes for making vegetables as i told you as soon as you cut the vegetable you have to put it in the water otherwise the potatoes will turn red and the color of the original potato is lost so is the and you take a little bit of warm water instead of ordinary water warm water also decimates the <clears throat> starch content as we are cutting and putting it in the starch the starch is washed as we put it the potato soaks in the starch and the starch will come out of the potatoes the lesser the starch the lesser the carbohydrates the lesser the fat that we accumulate in our body try to see that you are cutting the potatoes to equal sizes so that when it cooks it does not burn on one side and stay uncooked on one side so equal pieces and stage by stage as you cut you have to put them in the water you just wait till then they will turn their colors so it is always prefer to have warm water and equal sizes of potato pieces see you can see the starch on this knife and also in the cutting board so you should always wash the knife and the cutting board as soon as you cut the potatoes and now for cooking the potatoes turn on the stove to high and add medium you need a little bit of extra oil for cooking the potatoes so i am taking extra oil it's about 1 tablespoon for two potatoes i always take extra hing because i know the medicinal properties and the digestive properties of the hing or asafoetida as you call it now as soon as the stove when you see the vapors coming out of the oil you can add half a teaspoon of mustard seed Then you put the 
cashew nuts, they are good cholesterol and I add it always to my vegetables. After this, I put the vegetable that I have washed in the warm water. Before we water here. This muddy water is because of the starch that has come out of the potatoes. So we have to add them after saving the water. We should not keep it for a long time without water otherwise the color will change. So I don't put the potatoes with close the lid because they have to brown a little and then they have to, the water that is contained in the potato has to be evaporated. So I always put potato open. Now at this stage, when the potatoes have turned a little transparent, I will add the salt to taste. Salt to now, turmeric powder. Turmeric powder has to be thrown antiseptic, antibiotic properties. Add turmeric in all our food except for coconut rice. As soon as they start turning brown and are transparent and edible, you can add the chili powder at the end because chili powder if you add before, it will lose its potential potentiality and it will become dark or burn out. So we will add the chili powder at the end. If you put the potatoes in low flame, they will be done very well and they will also taste very good. You know that the potato is done just by pressing the potatoes, you will know that the potato is done. When the potato is done, you can add the red chilies. Red chilies we add at the end because they should not lose their potency and the color. You all can always alter it to your taste. From half a tablespoon to three four tablespoon flat not scooped. So now you have a colorful potato fry which is golden in some places where the pieces are small, end pieces are small and now you have this golden brown potato fry for you to consume. This is the final look of the potato fry.